How you doing folks and welcome back to Crafted Replications. It's uh, great to have you back again. Thanks for joining the journey. Still on the Tom McGee house having decided what we're going to call this episode but there's been lots going on as you can see the outside wall, the rest of the windowsills have gone on, the rest of the windows have been made, the roof's practically finished. So it is, there's been a lot of work going on inside with the skirting boards and the architrave and everything else so i'm just going to get straight back in there right away and not keep talking or nothing like that there um just want to thank everybody for who subscribed and who's still watching from old new and old and even if you haven't subscribed thanks for joining us really appreciate it if you like it just give me a thumbs up sure apparently it helps the channel i don't know but apparently it does but uh all talking aside night let's just get on with it and uh I hope you enjoy it. All right. See you later. Right, folks. As promised in the last video, I said I'd uh, I'd probably show you a wee bit of um, how we do this here. So um, at the moment, I'm only using the hot glue gun, but it will be retacked with um, contact adhesive as well. So it will it'll be like like spot well, and it'll be spot tacked. So it will. Um, the lead flashing's all already been cemented down. And here we're just like, trying to get our evenness right. So we should be about there. Now this looks a bit off, but this this will all can be trimmed, sanded and so on, and the other ones coming in the meat. But sometimes the regularity looks pretty good on miniature because uh well I feel it shows a bit of wear and tear, so it does. So, I'll just take a few more of these on for you, just to you see how I'm going. And then don't forget, when they're all on, the roof will come off, and uh, they'll be spot tacked from the inside as well. So they will with contact adhesive. But um, I'll pop another one on now for you, just to see where we're at. I don't know if you can see in camera, but I haven't actually got a shirt on today, and that's because it is absolutely boiling here in Northern Ireland. I feel bad for you over in London and elsewhere that are getting hammered with the heat. But uh, with the doors open, windows open, a wee breeze is coming through. Pull them down to the um, hot glue hardness while you're at it. Check your levels. I don't need that much or that much for that matter. And there we are. So we just basically follow the whole roof along, doing the same thing in that way but you'll come back and you'll see anyway and then but that's just giving you an instance how I actually put it on and I might show up
And then you start working two days down. Stuart got the roof finished off her and um, she's put these hinges on it. So at least you will just see in the part of the house, so you will. Um, from that there area. And that's just about, well, obviously a lot of clean up to be done around the edges and what have you. But uh, Stu's taking care of that there and I, and I'll bring you back in a wee bit.
you if you're going to say, what's he going to do with that? Well, with that, this, this, then I'm going to make some windows and here's how you would do it. Right, here we are folks, the last of the ground floor windows to be made and put in and just have a quick check. It's a bit tight but I think it'll go so first thing to do is get a bit of oh, a bit of contact adhesive on the top and the bottom. The reason why I do it like that there because if the sides need any adjustment um, it's easier to do that there with this little dry fitted where the rest needs to go in so they can get the, the vertical correct. Um, You'll have to forgive me if you're not getting a good view of this at the moment because I have to get these in perfectly so as the rest fits and you'll see why in a wee second. If I just hold that for another few seconds. Right, like I was saying there, the size, what you can do is you see you can just like make slight alterations so say slide into place so that's that one done and that one there 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 let that slide in on that side and that one there's too tight you just have to trim a piece off there so let that one in and let that in place so now i just got to get a wee bit of glue on, just say, two of them on each side, because don't forget, this is contact adhesive, and it's already being held on three points of contact. And because it's stored away, totally wasted in there as well. Because being a tight fit. Get that right in. Oh, 
I'm going to square it at the back as I'd like because don't forget the windows have got a bit of flush. Loosen that one and that one. And the reason that all that trouble being caused is because this bottom has to come forward slightly. The trouble is now, even though you've seen how I built it with all rebates, it is quite brittle. So we have to be a wee bit careful how we move it. Leave it more there. Something's okay. There's something holding it. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. Could be this bottom one. Could be. That one first. That one first. That one there. Loose. Should by right without knocking the frame out come forward to there and forward to there. Just getting caught here. So I say it's getting caught on a piece of the glue. So I'll have to cut that piece of the glue off. Just as I'm doing movie stuff, the actual it comes out. Oh, and there we are. Right, just exactly where we want it. Well, folks, that's it for another episode of uh, Crossed Replications. Um, back in here in the workshop, there's been an awful lot going on. And what you just seen in that third video there, there's, I've done a lot more, but that's for the next video. Remember what I said about the, um, if you want to see the um, window being done from start to finish, uh, let me know. And uh, I'll stick a wee video away for that there. It shouldn't take long because i got all the bits and pieces there for it already um, edited. So if you like that there, let us know. If not, thank you very much again for sticking to the end. And uh, sure, we'll talk soon. See you later.